Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages the Divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. As usual, I always remind you that it is important to remember that these readings are generalized and to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. So what we're going to do is we are going to be working with our Oracle cards and our Tarot cards as well. As I'm getting your Oracle cards, I want to remind you that we have a new moon ceremony. Okay, we've got so many cards that have come out. A new moon ceremony that is going to be happening on the 21st of March. This is the new year. It is an auspicious day. It is a powerful day. And on this powerful day, I'm going to be changing things up, rebranding. And so the rebranding I'm going to be doing is how I do my magic ceremonies, my prayer ceremonies. So there is going to be a new beginning in this area. And so if you're wanting to be part of the candle magic ceremony on the 21st of March, it is going to be epic. We're going to have chanting, dancing, singing. I'm collaborating with other powerful people that live near me. And as we are collaborating, this prayers are going to be a lot deeper they're going to be a lot more powerful and i'm really excited to be collaborating with powerful people who are just absolutely magical so going forward on the new uh, moon ceremonies that i do on the full moon ceremonies and all the other ceremonies like cord cutting ceremonies and everything else they are just going to be completely different we're infusing a powerful powerful energy and i'm so excited i know you can feel the excitement that is here so on this day, if you're wanting to work with me, my website is in the description box below. Purchase your candle, write your petition, send that petition to me, and then I'll be working my magic on that day, the 21st of March. If you cannot work with me for whatever reason, write your own petition, go and educate yourself about why the moon is magical, okay, and why we work with candles, Go and start learning about herbs and flowers and all the powers, the different powers and start doing your own magic because of course you are a powerful being too. So we have some amazing energies that are here. I really see you, okay, with a new beginning that is here because you're receiving the energies of the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is about you leaving a situation behind. There's a turbulent situation that you've been experiencing there is just something that has just caused you a lot of anxiety, mental stress. And from now on, there's a feeling of you understanding that there is a new chapter that is going to be coming for you. So there's a feeling that is here where you're living this challenge, where you're living this situation and you're starting to journey into new beginnings. Perhaps this is part of your prayer on the 21st of March that you're wanting to have peace. You're wanting to have a new chapter that is here. This certainly is that feeling of you wiping the slate clean. So there are some new beginnings on the cards for you. And this is really good. I love this for you. So the divine is saying that once you've made that intention, these new beginnings that are here are going to come quickly and they are going to be beautiful. Can you see we have our card, card that is telling you the same thing. So not only are you wiping this slate clean, the divine is saying that there's a new chapter that is here. There's a new beginning that is here. You have the energies of the eight of wands, which is when you focus your energy, you're going to see that things are happening for you quickly. So when you plant your new seeds on the 21st of March on that new year, you're going to be seeing that things will start happening for you quickly. And the divine is saying that for things to start happening for you quick, it is important to start a gratitude journal, to start offering prayers of gratitude, to start being grateful for the things that you have in your life. This speeds up things. Gratitude is part of magic. Okay, so the divine is saying to you that there are some new beginnings that are here. And it is interesting that you have the major arcana card of the full card. The full card is the same thing, new beginnings. So it is time for you to take this leap of faith that is here. We can see that the six of swords, you are now leaving the situation behind. And yes, it could be challenging. Yes, you just could not feel maybe that you can do it. Because the energies of the full card is just indicating that you're just thinking about things. You are on the edge of taking that leap of faith, but it almost feels like you are not ready yet. It just feels like you do your intentions. You write your petition. You work with this 
powerful auspicious day on the 21st of March. And suddenly, all that feeling of feeling doubtful, all that feeling of not being sure about the future, suddenly things just change. There's just like a change that is here on a deep level, on a subconscious level. So now you take that leap of faith into the new beginning that is here. And as you take that leap of faith, you are now falling, right? You're jumping into the next phase, into the next timeline, into the next chapter, into the next beginning. And as you're falling, you're going to start seeing that that passion, that fire, remember I told you the element of fire is powerful, that fire that is here is going to start guiding you. You're going to start seeing clearly. So the divine is saying that there's just an energy that is here full of excitement, full of joy, full of passion, full of drive. And it is interesting that you have the energies of the wands. Well, the Aries new moon that we're going to be working with is connected to that energy of fire. Is that new beginning. It is connected to the wands. So this is why you have this drive that is here, this Mars energy that is here that is going to be helping you make that shift. If you have felt like you've been stuck for a long time, if you felt that you couldn't just make that leap of faith, you couldn't make that leap of, of jumping into the next chapter, you couldn't just jump into the next beginning because you were doubting, because you didn't have faith. For whatever reason, the divine is saying that there is just something that is going to snap within you. And before you know it, you're exiting, you're leaving a job that you hate, a relationship that doesn't give you anything. You're just leaving behind things that you have been arming and arming for a long time. There is just this fire, this drive that is coming in and you just boom, you are going for it. And before you know it, there is just energy that is beautiful that is here. Because the divine is saying that you have been working with the energies of the divine uh, masculine energy. Okay. You were here doing a lot. You were showing up. You're working too hard. You were just putting a lot of energy. You were just putting a lot of muscle power. You were just putting a lot of energies that were draining you. So as you are shifting from that divine masculine energy, you're starting to enter a new chapter that is here where you are going into the energies of the divine feminine, the divine feminine. Now you are here. Okay. You are enjoying the things that make you feel good. Taking your time, enjoying your tea, buying flowers for yourself. You're starting to accept help. Because the Six of Swords is about getting the help that you need as you are leaving a, a situation behind, even if that help is from your guides, from your ancestors, from your celestial team, your angels. So you're starting to accept the help that you need. And you're going to see that by stepping into the energy of accepting, stepping into the energy of that divine feminine energy, you're going to be seeing help coming in, gifts coming in, love coming in. I'm certainly going to be working with that divine feminine energy for my own prayers because it is an energy of flow. It is an energy that is beautiful. So the divine is saying that there's a glow up that is here. You are entering a beautiful new chapter and you're starting to step into the energy of gratitude. You're starting to step into the energy of enjoying the beautiful things in life. And it doesn't matter what sex you are. You're starting to understand that accepting help is not a sign of weakness and accepting gifts is a good thing. Even if it's you gifting yourself the flowers, you are stepping into that energy of allowing beauty, luxury to be part of your existence. Whereas before it was all about hard work. It was all about you showing up, about sweating all day, about fighting battles. As you're leaving these battles and entering a new chapter, the divine is saying that leave those weapons over here, okay? Because what we are doing now is about going with the flow. It's about going with the divine energy of accepting. It's about beauty. It's about doing things different. And this is why I am rebranding and working with other people, collaborating with other people, because I'm understanding that when you lift up other people, they lift up you too. And when you help other people, when you need help, they're there for you. So it's about creating a team. So I don't know what it is that you are hoping to change. Maybe in the comment section below, comment and let us know what are you hoping to change? How are you going to accept this energy of the divine feminine energy? 
So the divine is saying that for you, you as you are stepping into this energy of the divine feminine, you're going to be seeing that now your blessings are coming in and they're coming in quickly because now you're in a new chapter, you're in a new phase. So the divine is saying that you are going to be seeing that a lot of, you can see, incoming blessings magical moments you are taking that fire that aries fire you're taking that mars energy that we are working with and you're making sure that you're going to be riding through the rest of 2023 feeling powerful feeling like a warrior even though everyone else maybe in the world is going through a lot of challenges they're just going through a lot of their own difficulties for you you are flying high because you took the time to set your intentions on the 21st of March. And this is why I'm appealing to you, even if you're not working with me, do not miss these energies that are here. They make miracles happen. Okay. Everyone else is feeling frozen. Everyone else is feeling challenging because 2023 will be challenging. So the world is just feeling cold and just difficult. But for you, because you understood the importance of working with the energy of the elements, things for you will be different. You are walking into your blessings. You're walking into new chapters of gratitude. And you are starting to experience your, your blessings flowing, coming in, magical moments coming in. So there's a divine presence that is going to be around you. So go and educate yourself about the importance of, of working with the new moons. What do you do on a new moon? What do you do on a waxing moon, on a waning moon? What do you do on a full moon? What about an eclipse? All these energies are so powerful. And I feel that it's almost like a shame that we don't get taught this at school. So start learning, start growing. I had to learn, I had to grow. And I started implementing these things in my life and my life is completely different. Okay, so it is going to be important for you to understand that these changes that are here, are going to see you not only wiping the slate clean of scarcity, of worry, of anxiety, not only wiping the slate clean, but understanding that as you are making the transition into a peaceful new chapter, you are going to be seeing that now the rewards are coming in. Okay, the recognition is coming in. You are being rewarded for being brave, for going forward and doing the hard work instead of staying in situations that no longer serve you. So beloved, this is the message that the divine is wanting to give you. This is so powerful. There are blessings that are going to be here for you. Okay, do not waste this amazing energies that are here. There are blessings that are here. Recognition, new chapters, new beginnings. Go and do that work that you need to do. Or if you need to work with me, go and purchase your candle write your petition because when you are writing you are spelling write what it is that you want for the next year send that in to me and i will do my magic with my team of people and then i'm going to be sharing the videos okay of the candle magic ceremony after it happens i'm going to be sharing the videos because like i said I always do the new moon full moons and i work with different energies you know on different phases of the moons so if you wanted to see what it is all about, I'm going to be showing that to you. I am so excited. I am just like over the moon because for me, it was difficult to make this move. When spirit told me I needed to move to Zimbabwe, I was like, <laughs> I don't think so. You know, I am comfortable where I am. But spirit was like, it is time. So I came to Zimbabwe and yes, things are challenging here. But connecting with powerful people here has just been amazing. And now I'm starting to see the journey unfolding. And I can't wait to share my talents, my skills, and collaborate with other people and help you. I have so much that I want to tell you, but let's just let things happen. Okay, so if you're wanting to work with me again, everything that you need to know is in the description box below. I'm going to see you very soon. It is a goodbye from me.